Hey guys, how you doing? This is your boy Rich from Rich TV Live, and you too can join the club at richpicksdaily.com where you can learn how to win and trade. Hi, how's everybody doing today? I'm your host, Rich, here on behalf of Rich TV Live with our very special guest, the CEO of Wonderfy Technologies, Ben Samaru. How are you doing today, Ben? Hey, Rich, I'm doing great. How are you doing? I'm doing fantastic. Congratulations on listing on the Toronto Stock Exchange, the big news that we want to talk about. And can you tell us a little bit about the TSX listing and what it means for Wonderfy? Sure. So it really is a big milestone for, for Wonderfy. Uh, super excited for, for, for the team. There's a lot of work that uh, went in behind this to get the TSX listing. The TSX, it's the 11th largest uh, exchange in the world. And I think just has a level of cachet and, and, and access that um, is really unparalleled uh, in Canada. And for us, what we're really trying to do with Wonderfy is to create this public vehicle for investors, uh, retail, institutional, uh, domestic, international, to be able to invest in crypto in a compliant way. And so with with us uh, owning uh, BitBuy, which is the first uh, licensed marketplace in the country, and uh, soon to be Coinberry, uh, which is another licensed uh, crypto marketplace, uh, crypto platform, I should say, Stepping up to the TSX really is uh, something that creates a lot of uh, investor confidence. Um, there's, uh, you know, it, it's a senior board, uh, just like the NEO. So it, so we still have the same reporting requirements and corporate governance requirements. But in terms of access and uh, ability for, for international investors to be able to access the stock, it definitely increases significantly on the TSX. And I think when we look at peer group uh, on the TSX for crypto companies, that is uh, very impressive as well. So we're now listed alongside leaders in the industry like Galaxy Digital, like Hot8, uh, Bitfarms. And, uh, and so we're really you know, excited and, and proud to be listed alongside uh, those, uh, those other leaders in the, in the industry. Congratulations. That's a huge, huge, huge milestone. And there aren't many other crypto companies listed on the TSX. Why do you think that is? And will we see more coming now that Wonderfy has achieved the listing? So uh, the TSX is, is definitely very um, selective in terms of who they list. I think from a reputational standpoint, uh, being the largest exchange in Canada and the, the oldest, they have very stringent criteria in terms of who they allow to uh, to obtain a listing uh, on the TSX. So I think until now, there hasn't been a company um, like Wonderfy in the exchange space that was sort of suitable for um, for a listing. And so I think that, um, you know, that that sort of plays into, to, you know, why we're the, we're the first um, licensed Canadian uh, exchange list on the TSX. And I think in terms of other crypto companies, they've kept it very... Uh, deliberate in terms of uh, subsectors of crypto. So we have crypto miners, which is a business that people are very familiar with. Uh, you've got, uh, you know, I mentioned HUDAID and BitFarms and, and a few others that are listed on the TSX. And that's a very clear ca uh, cl subcategory. You have institutional plays. And that's really just Galaxy Digital that's on there. They were initially listed on the TSX B when they went public in 2018 and then graduated to the TSX uh, after that. And then now we're really carving out this new category of crypto trading platforms, which I think is really important to be able to tell that narrative because it's it's very different than um, the other the other se sectors, particularly miners. I think um, investors who have exposure to miners are um, familiar with the the you know the volatility of of mining companies being really correlated to the volatility of Bitcoin, whereas with trading platforms. The volatility, uh, you know, really isn't as closely tied to uh, to the asset itself. It's, you know, it's really the picks and shovels uh, business that we're, you know, that we're in. So I think carving that out and being able to get on um, uh, an exchange like the TSX that has the the level of profile that it does is going to help to um, educate and just, you know, show investors that there, you know, there is this uh, this other category, and you know, this is what it looks like. Now. 
How should investors who are familiar with the TSX look at WonderFi versus other crypto companies on the TSX now that you guys are listed? Yeah, so uh, you know, I touched on that a little bit. I think it's really looking at this, um, breaking down these different categorizations, and and uh, I think what one of the goals that we have and 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 that I have personally is is being able to um, help to bridge the gap uh, for retail and institutional investors who have historically invested in mining companies, uh, crypto mining companies, I should say. And help bridge the gap to get them comfortable with investing in uh, in an exchange platform uh, like WonderFi. So it's a it's a big step. There's a lot of things that are keeping them out. Uh, regulation is is a big part of that. And so I think us bringing uh, multiple regulated brands under one umbrella is going to certainly help with that. Um, again, the TSX listing helps a lot. Um, you know, we I, I can see the reaction already uh, from you know a number of uh, uh, institutions and and you know larger retail investors that uh, I've been talking to uh, for for some time. As soon as they see the the TSX uh, uh, listing achieved, I think the the conversation changes um, a little bit. So um, you know I think that's uh, you know that's that's certainly going to you know going to be significant for uh, for us moving forward. How does the TSX listing align with Wonderfy's future growth plans? So really, we're focused on, uh, you know, like any any trading platform, we're really focused on uh, expanding our user base, uh, you know, as, as aggressively as we can and offering the broadest set of products to those users uh, that um, that are high quality and that really uh, serve the needs of uh, uh, of those individuals or, or, in, or institutions, as, a, as the case may be. So being able to be on the TSX, it, um, again, it does give us more profile within Canada and internationally. And so as we look to expand to, into new jurisdictions with our products uh, this year, that's definitely going to be helpful from, uh, from an access standpoint, um, whether it's through capital raising or just through, you know, exposure into new markets. I think that's going to be uh, going to be incredibly helpful. Um, for us, and and at the end of the day, our you know our mission really is bringing um, more access to compliant crypto to people. So that's you know that's users through our various platforms, um, and then that's also investors who invest in in public crypto companies through uh, the Wonderfy public public vehicle. And so I see those two as really moving in tandem. And so the you know the public company side is you know is really um, it, you know, it's really important because again, it's uh, um, if that side of the business is executed well, uh, it becomes a, a very good vehicle for um, for 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 growth and, and capital, and uh, and and it you know it complements the um, you know the actual business growth as well. Now, there's a lot of investors within our community that have invested in Wonderfy technologies, including ourselves. And they've been calling me off the hook, really excited about this news. And a lot of them are responding and commenting on the videos that we've put out talking about this news. If there was a message you wanted to deliver to investors that are watching this interview today, what would it be? Next stop, NASDAQ. I know my, my, my lawyers will, will kick me for saying that, but I mean, uh, you know, it's no secret that that's the, uh, that's the plan. I think, you know, like I said, I, I really look at our, public company as a business on its own. And that is really focused around um, tell it, you know, telling the, the story of uh, compliant crypto and being able to execute on that and being able to access a really broad uh, set of uh, retail and institutional investors. And the TSX is such a big step towards um, being able to fulfill that goal. And uh, it certainly helps with our um, ability to uh, to to move towards uh, a Nasdaq listing and um, and and you know that's that's certainly something that uh, that we're you know focused on. Wow, you guys heard it here first directly from Ben Samaru, the CEO of Wonderfy Technologies. I want to bring everyone's attention to the symbols WNDR in Canada, now on the Toronto Stock Exchange, WONDF in America on the OTC markets. And hopefully in the future on the NASDAQ in America, I must remind everyone that Rich TV Live is strictly for information and education purposes. Please do your due diligence, do your research before you invest in anything we talk about or discuss here on Rich TV Live. In saying that, 
We're a big fan of Wonderfy Technologies. And thank you for joining us today, the CEO of Wonderfy Technologies, Ben Samaru. Thanks so much, Rich. Always a pleasure. If you guys are not winning, you're probably not watching. We bring you the winners, we bring you the news, we bring you the analysis, and we bring it to you first. If you like the video, please smash the like button, comment down below, share the video everywhere, and subscribe. And thanks for watching, everybody. And keep Wonderfy Technologies on your radar and on your watch list. This is Rich from Rich to Be Live with Ben Samaru saying, have a nice day, everybody. We'll see you soon.